It's every CIO's worst nightmare. A laptop computer with patient health information goes missing or is stolen. Not only does this breach jeopardize your patient's privacy, it almost always means costly penalties for your organization. Now, thanks to advancements in anti-theft technology, many CIOs have enabled laptops to protect themselves in these types of situations. The latest anti-theft technology triggers an automatic remote lockdown scenario, or poison pill, to keep patient data safe and secure. We asked David Holding, an Intel healthcare architect specializing in security and privacy, to walk us through the three ways that Intel's anti-theft technology can be used to protect lost laptops. Here's what he had to say. Anti-theft technology is a layer on top of the encryption in the defense in depth approach and it involves the use of a poison pill. So if the laptop gets lost or stolen, the idea is that the caregiver can call their administrator and say, hey, I lost my laptop or it was stolen. The administrator flags it as such in a central database. Now the laptop could be pre-configured according to the security and privacy policy of the healthcare organization to call home on some interval, maybe every day or every couple of hours and it'll call that central server, see that flag, get that poison pill, and it basically breaks itself. The disabling is effective even if the hard drive is re-imaged or swapped out or boot sequence is changed because it's the hardware that's blocking the boot. It's a very effective additional layer of protection on top of the encryption. It gives the health organization an additional higher level of assurance that their information is safe and avoid a breach. There might be some delay between the time the laptop goes missing and the time it calls home, right? And so that's a window of opportunity for an attacker. So there's another way of delivering the poison pill for a laptop that's 3G wireless enabled. That poison pill can actually come over an SMS encrypted token. So as fast as that caregiver can call the administrator and they flag it in their database, that token's going over the wire within minutes. It's breaking that laptop. So that's a, an extreme measure of additional security. If an attacker is savvy enough to take that laptop and isolate it from a network so it can't get the SMS token or call home, there are local protections that can be configured for that laptop. For example, a hardware rendezvous timer. If the PC is configured to call home every couple of hours and it doesn't, it'll brick itself with a local uh, poison pill. The other local protection is if an attacker tries to log in a pre-configured number of times and fails, say five consecutive failed login attempts will trigger the anti-theft lockdown. So all of those things are a very effective additional layer of security on top of encryption. Security is one of the main topics of discussion on the Intel Premier IT professional community website. Visit the web address on your screen to read blogs, watch videos, and participate in discussions with your peers on a wide range of security-related issues.